I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. Simple is a verb, like Google is a verb. A way to make life easier, perhaps even superb. For when we strive for simple solutions in our life, we can find the joy and peace that never dies. It's not just about the little things we do, but also how we think, and also how we view. For when our minds are clear and free of all strife, we can find a way to make life simpler in our life. Simple is a verb that helps us to see the beauty in the things that surround thee. It's not about having less or more, but rather finding joy in what we explore. Simple is a verb that helps us to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. For when our lives are free of clutter and strife, we can find joy in the simple things of life. Simple is a verb that helps us to grow in ways we never thought of or thought that we could know. And simply when we focus on the task at hand, we can make our lives simpler and grand. Simple is a verb, like Google is a verb. Por supuesto. That's a line you always say at the beginning of Act 3. That it is, yes. What's it mean? At least in this context. If but as well, I other accents borrow, that can my speech diffuse my good intent, may carry through itself to that full issue, for which I raised my likeness. Yeah, those are pretty words and all, but they don't explain anything. Okay, it goes back to my search days. Your what? My search days, when I worked at Microsoft on something that used to be called MSN Search. And is now what? It's now called Bing, but it wasn't then. So what's important about that? Well, I really wanted the job. So much so that what? I wanted it so much, I overlooked that Google, which was our main competitor, had become a verb. Explain, please. I mean, Pajusta. Just a few days earlier, something happened on a TV show. A TV show? Yeah. There was this TV show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah? And what's that have to do with anything? On that show, one of Buffy's friends asked her if she had Googled something. So? So it was the first instance ever where Google was a verb. And how did that affect you? I knew it was over. What was over? Any race to be the best search engine. Why? Because the word Google became a default action word. Kind of like the wake words that we're familiar with today. So? So that meant that forever, from then on, whenever people didn't know something... Oh, they would Google it! Right, and they still do. Por supuesto. Okay, and this connects how, my royal tarpaulin? Are complex verbs involved? It connects in the way that we make everything simple. And how is that? Simple. Psych. No, really, simple. Not psych. We make it a verb. Oh, just like Google's a verb. Correct, my dear DT, my fool, my joy, my good. We make it a verb so that I'm feeling this. So that, so that when people don't know how to do something, they can just simple it. Like breaking it down. Yes, they can take that task and break it down into smaller, more manageable parts. And then tackle them one at a time. And get the job done. Not just that, but get it done quickly and efficiently. The same way we handle things like... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us, or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming.
Mm, oh, we're back, okay. So, simple being a verb is a lot like Google being a verb, right? Yes, it is. I don't believe there's any negative correlation there. It's all a matter of belief. But... But what? Um, what does baseball have to do with it? Baseball? Other than involving practice items? Nothing, DT. What are you getting at? Our guest today. Huh? How's that related? Our guest today, Vic Menzo, is a big baseball fan, right? Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's true. But he's here today to help us break something else down. Which is what, John? Goals. It's that, but mostly, I want you to pay attention to what I call his flaming sword. Flaming sword? As I sometimes call it, I said, it's his raison d'etre. Or, as Napoleon Hill calls it. Yes, his definite purpose in life. And what is it? It is to help people awaken to the truth of who they are. Well then, let's welcome the author of Rediscover Your Greatness. Which, of course, we'll link in the show notes. Hello, Vic. Glad to have you here with us today on Simple Success. Simple can be a verb, just like, as we all know, Google is a verb. And this really relates to mindset, I think, at least. So, Vic, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing absolutely amazing. How about yourself, brother? I'm doing I'm doing really well. We have a, uh, a, a break in the blazing sun that we usually have here in Northern California. Right now, it's actually a little cool and wet, which is rare. It's something I was very familiar with growing up in the Midwest, but not so much out here. So... <laughs> So, but, but it's all right. It's all right. How about yourself? It's been good. It is a wet day today, which we need some rain in Knoxville. Uh, we've, we haven't had a lot of rain the last couple of months. So I'm, I'm actually love seeing the outside be a little wet for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about what motivates you. Uh, I heard somebody say recently, a, a way to think about this is what is your flaming sword? That's what the, the guy that I heard say. It's, you know, the, the thing that really, flaming really, sword. yeah, I, 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 I like that. I like it. Yeah. It's like a charge for me, you know, the biggest thing that wakes me up every single day that inspires me that you can't get me not to do this is to um, help people awaken to the truth of who they are. Right? Okay. I, I have a book called Rediscover Your Greatness, very similar to that. The greatness is what we have within us. And that is something I'm a mission on and, and to do. And I, I started that journey with a little bit of my chiropractic work. And then now in my coaching with mindset, it's like I did it help people with there. But now it's like I want to take it to a whole nother level and help people on the mind because there's just so much that goes on with our minds, how they work, how we get conditioned and programmed, the constructs we create, so much more. It sounds very complex, but I promise we'll make it simple. Mm, what's the trigger? What, what What's something that you listen for that lets I you love know this. that you're on the right track? Yeah, I know. This is, this is such a great question. So a lot of things I, I love to share and teach, again, how to make things as simple as possible, right? So we can try to figure that out with our mind, but it's going to get a little chaotic. It's going to get distracted. It's going to get crazy. You know, it's going to be pulled in many different directions. It was a lot of shiny lures in today's world where, you know, you can try to figure something out, but it takes a lot of work so, and, and it can be sometimes overwhelming, which then becomes daunting, which then becomes you paralyzed because you don't make a choice when the brain's overwhelmed. There's something a lot simpler that you can do that doesn't resolve, doesn't need thinking. It's actually more accurate than what your mind can figure out because your mind has deciphers things based on past experiences where this part is called the feelings. Now, it's not mm, feelings when you get okay. triggered. A lot of people misunderstand that a little bit because they'll be like, well, I was mad, so I'm going to react. It's like, no, 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 that's reaction. That's There's no power there. That's that's reacting because you're allowing the external stimuli to control your internal environment. But the feeling is something that comes to you. You can call it intuition. That's pretty much what it is, but it's just a feeling. And the thing is, is you, you, we've gotten so far away from this that this is why I think sometimes the world's so complex and what we've done is because we, we've lost, we're so in our heads, there's so much noise there that we go with that inner little voice mm -hmm. or that little subtleness. We miss it. We're so okay. preoccupied in the mind and in life right right and it's so easy to get caught up in overthinking a situation at least for me and for a lot of people which is partly where the simple part comes into it, it, it again i'm speaking for myself but i oftentimes find that if i break a situation down break it down into its simplest smallest denominator that I think you and me. I mean, I know for myself. Speaking for myself, I've 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 been more on the reactive side back in the day, and I'm learning more of that now. Of just you know, take a moment, not, not, or don't you know? Someone I, think, I forgot who it was. Don't ever. I forgot who said this, but it was. Don't ever let anything disturb your inner peace. And that works perfectly, plays right into the practice and persistence repetition themes that I communicate in literally every episode. <laughs> I really thank you for your time today. Is there anything else that you would like to add for, for, for listeners? No, I mean, you know, just be patient with yourselves. I mean, that's something I wish I told my younger self. Be patient. Take th some uh, things take time. We live in a physical world. We live in a physical reality. 
There is a process to things. Neurology, everything's neurology at the end of the day. So neurology has to take place. There's laws to it. Things don't just instantaneously happen in the brain. There, there is a process of adapting that the brain has to do before it starts to get hardwired mm -hmm. in our brain to become automatic. And once you understand this, once you, like, we all understand it to a certain degree. It's just we live in this world of instant gratification. But once we can start to get into more delayed gratification, understanding this, the only thing I leave with a message for everybody is just don't get overwhelmed with so many things to do or want to do or so forth. Just choose one, maybe one okay. book, read okay. it, master it, learn it. Once you got that down, go to the next. It can be one new tool in business or in life. Just do that. Focus on that. Mm -hmm. feel, go through it. Once you get that rhythm in, which takes about two to three months, but once you get that rhythm in, then you add something to it. If you play that game three to five years down the road, you, you, I, I can't see you three, five, five X in your life easily. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's the way to go. Well, thank you, Vic. I really appreciate your time today. No, thanks for having me on. This was a blast. All right. Be careful to avoid being preoccupied, he said. He did say that, yes, and it's something we all need to pay attention to. How often? Every day. Make hard things easy? Every day. Okay, so how do we make things as simple as possible? You mean, how do we avoid those shiny objects? Yeah. Well, the best way I've found, and this will probably work for other people too, is to pay attention to your feelings. Or, as Napoleon Hill said again, yeah, be respectful of hunches. Napoleon Hill caught detected. Why? Because it's often your subconscious talking to you. So that's why it's important to make everything simple. Yes, so that you don't get derailed by things seeming complex. Mm -hmm, that happens. Getting caught up in overthinking something is very easy. It is. So we make it simple by not overthinking it, and then we relax. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already, because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, simple. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Are we back? Oh, we are. Okay. Let's talk about investing. That's what we always talk about. Not always. At least not in the active voice. On this show, we do. Yep. Okay. I'll give all you that. And then you want to bring in perfect grammar or something. I think maybe your standards are too high. I what? Talk about turning things into verbs. And not adjectives? Or whatever Loki say. I'm not in grade school. Not yet, anyway. I mean, you're only two years old. Going on three. Anyway, what's your point? So simple it. I mean, I'm not talking about irregular and regular verbs or infinitive forms or something. Don't roll your eyes like that. I manipulate my parts as I see fit. Thank you very much. Okay, so how does making simple a verb bring simple success? It means that you've taken the first step toward your goal, the root form of the verb. Whatever that goal is. Yeah, as long as you have at least one. But more is better. So Please don't email us about that. Thanks, DG. When you take that first step toward your goal... You do what? You stamp it. Stamp it? Yes, you stamp it in your imagination. It's like a watermark. Only these see-through words say simple success. Oh, using only the simple tenses of the verb, and thus making hard become easy. Yes, it can be intimidating, but it sure doesn't have to be. You mean it should be simple? Partly I mean that. I mostly mean that it is simple. Yes, okay, I got that. There are so many options and strategies out there, but I believe that keeping it simple 
is the key to success. Absolutely. Simple is a verb, not an adjective. We need to actively simplify our approach in order to make informed, wise investments. More grammar would help too, I see. But still, that makes sense. So taking action is the best way? Yes, we need to take action and start investing. Okay, Matt. But how do we make sure that our investments are simple while being effective. One way is to invest in index funds. They offer a low-cost, diversified approach to investing that minimizes risk. But what about individual stocks? Don't they have the potential for higher returns? While individual stocks can have higher returns in a future event, they also carry a higher risk, like you might find with three-place firms. Do your own research. Yeah. And get this. Get what? There's another simple solution. There is? Yes, there is. What is it? It is the guess of their true strength and forces. By diligent discovery or by doing your own research? And doing your research. But my haste is now urged on me. Yes, indeed. We will greet the time when you connect such verbaciousness to investing. Got it. That quick? Yes, thank you both. Automate your investments. Set up automatic contributions to your investment accounts so you don't have to think about it. Let computers do that stuff like they do with normal subjects. Oh, you mean so I can actually use my brain? Yes, while taking away a ton of stress. Oh, like there's any stress in the markets? There can be when you try to time the market, which is just trying to time us. Or if you use limit orders. Oh, yeah, like in the so-called flash crash of 2010. Yep. I see now that keeping it simple and using simple verbs, is not only a good strategy for investing, but also for life in general. Yep. That's right. It's about taking action and finding simple solutions that work for us. And then practicing them persistently and repeatedly. And always putting the theory into practice. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar. Psychologist, William James. Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy. French consultant, Leah, the do your own research lady, videographer, Eto Monkoshki, audio props, Les Paul, inspiration, many podcasts and other sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to get the links and stuff. And all those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices that you hear in our work are offered up by Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. They don't sponsor us yet but we love what they do and we just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, PodBooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally... The music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, as well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes, that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul. <laughs>